unique test for clean room equipment, ensuring integrity and compliance. Clean rooms play a vital role in industries such as pharmaceuticals, biotechnology, electronics, and food production. The stringent air quality and environmental control requirements for these industries necessitate the use of specialized equipment like HEPA filters, LAF units, and containment systems. A critical aspect of maintaining the integrity and functionality of clean room equipment is performing regular leak tests. This essay delves into the purpose, methods, standards, challenges, and best practices associated with leak testing for clean room equipment. 1. Introduction to leak testing in clean rooms. Leak testing is a quality assurance process used to verify the integrity of clean room components and equipment. Its primary objective is to ensure that no contaminants bypass filtration systems, which could compromise the cleanliness of the controlled environment. Clean room equipment often relies on high-efficiency particulate air, HEPA, filters or ultra-low penetration air, ULPA, filters to remove airborne particles. Even minor leaks in these filtration systems can lead to contamination, posing risks to product quality, safety, and regulatory compliance. 2. Importance of leak testing. 2.1. Contamination prevention. Clean room environments are designed to minimize the presence of particles, microorganisms, and chemical vapors. Leaks in equipment such as HEPA filters, laminar flow systems, or containment devices can lead to uncontrolled air flows or particle ingress, disrupting the environment's sterility. 2.2. Regulatory compliance. Industries like pharmaceuticals and biotechnology operate under strict regulatory standards, such as ISO 14644, EUGMP Annex 1, and US FDA guidelines. These standards mandate leak testing as part of regular validation and maintenance procedures. 2.3. Product integrity and safety. For critical applications, such as vaccine production or semiconductor fabrication, even minor contamination can lead to product defects or safety risks. Regular leak testing ensures equipment performs as intended, safeguarding product integrity. 3. Key clean room equipment subject to leak testing. 3.1. HEPA filters. HEPA filters are the cornerstone of clean room air filtration. They are tested for leaks to confirm their ability to capture particles as small as 0.3 microns with an efficiency of 99.97% or higher. 3.2. Laminar Airflow Units LAFs. LAF systems ensure unidirectional airflow to maintain sterile working environments. Leak testing verifies the absence of unfiltered air ingress. 3.3. Containment Systems Containment systems such as isolators, pass boxes, and clean benches rely on leak-tight seals and filtration to maintain their integrity. 3.4. Air showers and clean booths. These systems help control particle migration between different clean room zones. Leak testing ensures their filtration systems operate correctly. 4. Methods of leak testing. Leak testing methods for clean room equipment vary depending on the type of equipment its application, and regulatory requirements. Below are some commonly used methods. 4.1. Aerosol Photometry. Principle. This method uses an aerosol challenge, e.g. DEHS or PAL, introduced upstream of the filter while a photometer measures particle concentrations downstream. Application. Primarily used for HEPA, ULPA filter integrity testing. Advantages, high sensitivity, capable of detecting leaks as small as 0.01%. Limitations, requires specialized equipment and skilled operators. 4.2, pressure decay test. Principle, measures pressure loss over time within a sealed system to detect leaks. Application, used for containment systems, isolators, and pipelines. Advantages, simple and effective for detecting gross leaks. Limitations, less effective for detecting fine leaks. 4.3. Bubble Emission Test. Principle, equipment is submerged in water, and the presence of bubbles indicates a leak. Application, useful for small components and sealed systems. Advantages, visual and straightforward. Limitations, limited to systems that can withstand submersion and not applicable to HEPA filters. 4.4. Tracer Gas Testing. Principle, involves using a tracer gas such as helium or sulfur hexafluoride, and detecting its escape with a gas detector. Application, used for critical applications requiring high sensitivity. Advantages, extremely sensitive and accurate. Limitations, 
high cost and requires specialized equipment. 5. Standards and guidelines for leak testing. Leak testing for clean room equipment must adhere to established international standards to ensure consistency and reliability. Key standards include 5.1 ISO 14644. ISO 14644 provides a framework for clean room classification and performance testing, including guidelines for filter integrity testing. 5.2 EU GMP Annex 1. Annex 1 emphasizes the importance of filter integrity testing in pharmaceutical clean rooms, detailing procedures for validation and maintenance. 5.3 ASHRAE Standard 52.2. This standard outlines methods for testing the efficiency of air cleaning devices, including leak detection. 5.4 IESTRPCC034 The Institute of Environmental Sciences and Technology IEST, provides recommendations for HEPA and ULPA filter testing. 6. Challenges in leak testing Despite its importance, leak testing poses several challenges. 6.1 Operator Dependency Leak testing often relies on skilled operators to interpret results accurately. Variability in technique can lead to inconsistent outcomes. 6.2. Equipment sensitivity. High sensitivity testing methods like aerosol photometry require calibrated and well-maintained equipment to prevent false positives or negatives. 6.3. Environmental factors. Temperature, humidity, and airflow conditions in the test environment can influence results particularly for methods like aerosol testing. 6.4. Maintenance interruptions. Performing leak tests may require taking equipment offline, potentially disrupting operations in high-demand environments. 7. Best practices for leak testing. To overcome these challenges and ensure reliable results, organizations should adopt the following best practices. 7.1. Establish a validation protocol. Develop a comprehensive protocol detailing test frequency, methods, and acceptance criteria. 7.2. Use qualified equipment. Ensure all testing instruments are calibrated and meet regulatory standards. 7.3. Train personnel. Provide rigorous training for operators to standardize testing procedures and interpretation of results. 7.4. Monitor environmental conditions. Conduct tests in controlled conditions to minimize external influences on results. 7.5. Document and review results. Maintain detailed records of test results and review them regularly to identify trends or recurring issues.